Hi, welcome to MarbleBoardGames.com. We're going to show you how to play Pentagon. Uh, this is also called Pente. Um, it's originated from a game called Go. It's Japanese made. Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you how this game is played. You've got two players. You go ahead and decide who goes first. Let's just assume black is first in this game. The first player is going to put his gem right in the very middle of the Pentagon board. And then it would be the uh, white gem's turn. And you can go ahead and just you just take turns alternating. You can place your gems wherever you want on the board. Uh, the idea is to get five gems in a row. That equals five points. Uh, when you first start playing this game, you decide upon how many points it's going to take to win. Generally, that's 21 points or more. Let's just assume for this game, it's 21 points will will help you to win. Okay. Let me show you something here. Here's a here's another way to get points. Let's say it's the black gem's turn and he goes right here. He just captured these two gems. You can only capture two. Whenever there's two in a row, you can if you if you cap on each end, you capture those two. And that would be worth one point. Okay. Now it's the white's turn. Black. White, black. Now see, he's got the advantage at this point because there's four in a row. There's not a lot the uh, the white gem can do. And the gem can try to block it over here, but he's going to go ahead and he's going to get a full five. That's worth five points right there. Uh, so at this point, it would be five plus the one point you already received, so that'd be six points. Once you do get five in a row, you do clear the board. And you just tally up the points. And you go ahead and start again. Uh, whoever's turn it was last. Let me show you a couple of things. Uh, this is called etiquette of this game. It's not mandatory. Let's say you were playing like this. And it was the white that went. He would now, because he has two and, and one here, if you were playing the etiquette version, he would now say tria or three, which is warning the other player that unless he does something, he's going to automatically get these points. Now, it's not mandatory. Again, that's just etiquette of the game. Um, if Black fails to put it there, maybe he has a better move in mind. And what's going to happen is the white gem will go down, and automatically, no matter what happens, he's going to get those five points. Another way to play is, uh, let's say you got four in a row like that. That would be called a tessera. And you could also, before you put it down, you can say tessera. And automatically you warn them that they're gonna, you're going to get the points. Again, that's not mandatory. It's just a fun way to play. Um, you can uh, just keep tallying up points. So you get to those 21. Whoever gets to 21 first wins. Again, get five in a row, that's worth five points. Anytime you capture two of your opponent's gems, that's worth one point. Another way to play this game is just the original Pente rules. If you're following the original Pente rules, as soon as you get a full five across, let's say I'm just going to hurry and speed things up here. As soon as you get something like that and the, uh, this player goes and automatically gets that, he wins. Um, there is no further playing of the game. That's just the original Pente rules. Another way is if you were to capture, if you were to capture two five times, each one of those is worth one point. So if you did that five times, you'd automatically win. So either you get a Pente like that, or you capture two of your opponent's gems five times, then you win. That's just another way to play. This is a lot of fun. There's a lot of different variations. You can go on the internet and look at all kinds of different rules to play this game. Again, this is Pente. We call it Pentagon here at MarbleBoardGames.com. Thank you.